Welcome back to another episode of Game Den Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very fun, intense four player chess game. Chess 4. Very, very fun four player chess game. Now, when you think of chess, you probably think of a very slow and boring chess game, and that you have to capture the other king's player, to, the other player's king, to win. And is a lot different. Instead of just having to capture one player's king, you have to capture one, two, and three other players' kings. And if you capture one, all the players either stay on the board, or you get control of the remaining army. Now, to review about all that, we also have two additional P, two additional colors other than white and black. We also have silver and gold. And before I get into most of the details about the game, I want to show you the box. Here is the back of the box right here. You have the main picture to show the four player setup, and you also have the picture to show the one player setup. So you can have two player setup. So you can have two players um, with the normal setup on the other side of this board here, or you can have the four player version, which shows you the setup. You can even have a checker game with this, which it includes in this rule pamphlet. I was very disappointed with this. It did not explain the full rules of chess, even though I already know it. It was still a little bit of a disappointment. It also includes this, which goes into this box like so. You put all the pieces here um, with the rules on the bottom, and it makes a very, very, very um, nice thing to put away all your pieces with. This board should not get damaged by that. And lastly, the box, the top part of the box. It's got, again, the setup of the game, right before everyone gets killed, and the, the name, and then the slogan. Chess is no longer just a battle, now it's war. It's by WoW Toys Incorporated. I will include the designer's name in the description. It's for ages eight and up, and this game can take anywhere between 45 minutes to two hours. So pretty much the length of, a, of an average chess game. Times four. <laughs> Um, so, now that we're all done with that, let's get the rules. Let's say you're playing white, and your pawn gets to this side, or this side, or to the very top. That pawn now has every single normal stuff as a normal pawn would in a chess game. So, any sort of privileges, you know, changing a piece. Very, very fun and awesome. I love this game. Very intense, too, because you got to watch out when you move these pawns on your first move. Make sure you're not moving the wrong one. So, so just a lot of thinking. Each turn should last about a minute if you're going to have a good game. The rules also state for a couple of versions, a checkers game for four players, very fun. Um, one of the rules that's in this game is how to checkmate a king, which I'll show you right now. All right, let me show you an example of a checkmating situation. All right, let me just move all these pieces. You know, just like really, really basic setup. So, you know, just very, very basic, and the rook takes out that. Now the king's in check, and none of these pieces. So the king could just move like that, and it's safe. Let's say this bishop is right here, and this piece was moved to here, right before silver went. Well, let's say this bishop's right here. Okay? So, and gold does this. Now the king is in a checkmate situation. Well, who gets the king? Who gets the rest of the remaining army? Silver or, or gold? Well, the simple answer to that question would be gold. If you want the long answer, here's why. Even though silver got him into the check position first, gold is the one that got him into the checkmate position, which caused the king to be checkmated. And that uh, and he dies. And so the remaining army goes to gold. Except for the king. Let's just reset this. Now that I've explained that, I have reset the game board to its original state. Um, I want to show you some gameplay right before, right after I move on to this next subject about the game. Some um, stuff that you um, might not know about the game. It's a lot larger. It's a lot longer than the normal board. So, if you have a table that's like meant to play chess and it's like just the right size for a nut for an average chess board, this thing is going to take up that whole thing, just the whole table plus a little more. Um, so be sure that you have a, 
have a bigger table. Hopefully you have a bigger table than what you usually use. That'll be pretty embarrassing if your table's smaller than this. Anyways, um, also, okay. So another thing that I want to talk about is side attacks. You will only usually get a side attack from one player because the other player will be attacking the player that's right in front of you. That makes sense. So gold could be attacking black. Most likely silver won't be attacking black as well black as well. It'd probably be attacking white, or vice versa, of course. Getting hit by a frontal attack usually happens a lot later in the day, later in the day, well, duh, later in the game, when the pawns from white reach you, or a piece from white reaches you, unless, of course, you're playing as white, when a piece, you know, like that, or playing well, as me, I'm playing as black. So, um, side attacks are very common. They usually use their knights, you know, to get in there. I don't know about these corners though, these corners right here. I don't know if these two squares right here connect or if they don't. I don't know. I played a game where they didn't connect to avoid confusion with the battles, but I don't know if that's right or not. Could be wrong. Um, so yeah, let's get on to some gameplay in this episode and I'll sum up the episode and we'll be over. But just to rephrase, just to recap, very fun game. Very, very nice um, box design, if I do say so myself. On this side of the box, there's a very long des description of the game. I think it's um, it's like this right here, the writing on this side, of the, on the back of the board, except just includes a little bit more. Uh, it's dangerous for kids under three years. Small park. Yay, it's got that warning. Um, so now what, that we've got one. Now that we're done with that, we can get on with some gameplay. Alright, let's get to some gameplay. Okay, so white would go first. And so white starts out by moving rook, the rook, right on out. Next up, it's silver. Silver goes next. They're going to move their knight as well. Next up is gold. Move that, guy, that pawn out to get their uh, bishop ready right there. Next up, it's uh, gold's turn. And lastly, they're going to sacrifice this pawn so that they can get their rook out. White does not see that as a threat. They'd rather just wait. See what they gold does with that. They're gonna move this pawn to get their bishop out. Silver is gonna get their last rook out. And gold's gonna and black's gonna send their bishop out. Gold is going to move their rook one space forward and just wait. White is going to move this pawn up one. Silver is going to move this rook and this knight right there. And black is going to Get ready to move in there, rook. Black and gold is going to do a very simple move and just move a pawn. And white is going to do that to get their rook ready. This is going to be the last round we're going to do and hopefully show some action and pieces getting knocked out. So basically we won't be doing this off of, based off of strategy, we'll be doing this based off of trying to make this thing a little bit fun. Okay. Okay, so silver takes that guy out. Black takes that guy out. So we're going to be like doing two more of just simple, stupid action moves just to show how cool this game could really be. And stuff. Just to show how intense this game could be with everything.
So basically, let's get all these pieces dead. And uh, this rook's going to knock out that. And last round right here. Last round of combat and stuff. And of course they're going to do that because you know last round of combat. Wait, no. They, yeah, they're going to do that. Um, these guys, send that in. That I hope satisfied your need to see some gameplay. I will hopefully be uploading uh, real gameplay in which me and a few friends sit down and play this. We're of course going to time lapse and skip all the really lame, boring thinking processes and simply get down to the bare bone awesomeness of the game. So really this is just an awesome game. Just pure awesome and it's very fun. Very, very fun. I would highly recommend this. The link to the Amazon listing will be in the description as well, so check it out. Okay, I'm back, and no more gameplay for today, I'm sorry. Um, so, basically, to review, four different colors, white, black, silver, and gold. Each and every single one of those suits or armies includes one of, includes every single piece that would come in a regular one, of course. There's four of these little tiny boxes, these, there's four of these boxes to store your units that you have killed, or pieces that you have killed. And gameplay follows from white to gold, back to white, you know, white, silver, black, gold. That's how it plays out. Another interesting rule, again, if someone puts your king into checkmate, you cannot move that king. I mean, if Someone puts your king into check, you cannot move that king until it's your turn again. So, to recap, here is the top part of the box, the back part of the box, and lastly, the inside of the box and rules. So, I know that some of you are almost like, why are you showing me the inside? So that you know if you order this, you know what you're going to be expecting to see. Such as when I got this, no one was giving me any sort of inside look. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when you first get it. All these pieces will be in one big, will be in bags separating themselves from color to color. So, as I'm picking this up, I want to let you all know. Thank you for watching. If you've gotten this far, thank you very much. Um, also, consider subscribing. Like this if this was helpful, and dislike if it was absolutely not helpful and I need to change something. Don't just dislike it and just go away. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong and tell me what I'm doing right so that I know exactly what to keep and what to get rid of. That would be very helpful. Next week, I'm going to be reviewing a surprise game. That's what I'm doing. So, there's no true review system yet. I'm right now debating from Overboard. Very fun game. Axis and Eyes D Day. And lastly, Othello. One of those three. So, I'm going to leave it up to you. If I don't get any votes, um, then I'll just choose. I'll draw a random name out of a hat. And that's the game I will, I will review. To vote, simply just um, say the name of the game you want me to review next. Out of those three, I will also, if I don't get enough votes, I have to get at least five. I will simply draw a name out of a hat. So, these five votes for one of those games. Consider subscribing. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. If this was not helpful, dislike. If this was helpful, like. If you want to see more of my videos, check out my channel. Some of my videos are stupid. Some of them are actually kind of funny. Some of them are informative, like this one, and some of them are just kind of lame. So check them out if you're if you're okay with that. If you're okay with any sort of surprises like that. And hopefully I will see you next week.